Hey Jack, by Jan Kerouac. Hey Jack, hey Jack, is that you? This is Jan Michelle, your daughter, remember? This is your daughter, remember? I believe we met twice down in the stew pot. Yeah, it's me. I'd like to talk to the cat that begat me. You dig? I heard your voice come over the line from out there in black telephone universe land, and I felt like the RCA Victor dog. Yeah. Oh, to be a gleeful mad boy, back to the mists of innocence. A beat, still incubating in the unsullied womb of beathood, where the only specters of doom were two bald-headed cats who, like, could push a button and blow us all out of here, man. And now, those imagined antics of Khrushchev and Ike have long since dissolved in the serum of history, immortalized by Mad Magazine, which I used to steal from the corner candy store. H-bombs drawn in so many cartoons, it's become a cartoon or at most, the smallest measurement of nuclear firepower on Earth. No one seems to realize it, but I'll tell you a secret. The H-bomb, I think, is the secret success of Japan. Yeah. If one of those sweet, beatitudinous babes of yore had stood up and prophesied that in three decades, an Iranian fanatic would hold the entire publishing world hostage, if he had said that there'd be Haitian drug gangs called posses in Kansas City, or condoms advertised on TV, computer viruses, hypos handed out on street corners, if he had dared to suggest that in the late 80s, Soviets would be more peace-minded than the Americans, and that there would be a huge hole in the ozone from spray cans, they would have put him in a straitjacket and carted him away to an asylum. And there, in the nut house, he might have written a monstrous work of fantasy science fiction to make George Orwell's 1984 look like the Wizard of Oz by comparison. <sighs> My poor father. He was such a big baby noodle brain. Too noodle brain to exist in this world of geometric fear. Too animal saintly headed. Too animal saintly hooded. He was too saintly to crawl through those concrete rat mazes of tortured thought. I know. I'm the same kind of baby noodle brain. Because I can feel him in my bones. I'm getting to know him. I'm getting to know the little boy blue from the inside out. Racing down madness awkward on Madison Avenue to Manhattan today. Freezing in the cruel cold, I wrap myself up like an Arab, blue hat and scarf like veils, and while rushing, caught a glimpse in store windows. I look like a mad Turag or Berber tribesman of the Sahara, hurtling at full tilt on a horse, or maybe even a camel, turquoise shrouds and veils flapping in the hot desert wind. Only this was cold city wind. Here, on the other side of the Atlantic, which reminded me of the ancient sunken home of continental driftwood, continental breakfast wood. <laughs> we humans must be a pretty hardy lot to swarm all over this poor old globe, time after time, strong as dynasties of cockroaches in those tenements I used to live in. Remember, Jack? You came to visit me in a tenement. I bet you didn't see any cockroaches. No. You were too drunk. Well, never mind. Anyway, so you say all your fathers wore straw hats like W.C. Fields. Well, I wish I could say that. But you see, my father was the invisible man. But I won't hold that against you.